And this has just turned into absolute chaos for the Aussies. They have a repair station with an LAV inside, infantry holding, and mortars just pounding the roof, keeping them buttoned up, and the Aussies can do nothing but just try to grin and bear it. A BMP is now just trying to tear up anything they can see. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and this one we have the Aussies up against the Russians on Mutaha. This is Mutaha Ras V2, and it is the very first Eye in the Sky for V6.0 and the Infantry Combat Overhaul. I know there's been quite a lot of discussion with the ICO, a lot of people liking it, and some very vocal people disliking it, but overall, I've been having an absolute blast with this update, and I've been seeing the results in the games on the potato fields. A lot more people are sticking together, a lot more people are using vehicles and other combined arms in order to get through objectives, and it just feels like what squad was meant to be. Yeah, maybe it's not perfect, and hopefully we get some tweaks, since I do think there are some things that need to change, but overall this has been an absolutely amazing update, and this game goes to show that it can be a lot of fun. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the future. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream throughout the week. All right, Eye in the Sky. This is Mutaha Ras V2, and it is the very first ICO Eye in the Sky, and I am very excited to see it. Uh, we have the Aussies up against the Russians, and we are actually on the Russian side, down on the southeast side of the map with the Aussies deploying at the northwest side, and we have what looks to be a very standard Mutaha uh, layout. Southern farm for the first point for the Russians, then to school, middle point ammo warehouse, up to, uh, sorry, Baraka suburbs, then roadblock. So your five cap objective areas with the ammo warehouse as the central one with intersection, police station, all that good stuff. I'm really interested to see how the fights break out with ammo warehouse, with the infantry combat overhaul. It's been crazy trying to get through urban combat with all the new suppression effects and things. And uh, I, it's probably going to be a bloodbath. But for the vehicles, we have just a bunch of uh, transport, slightly armored vehicles, BRDM, uh, two Tigers uh, with the open top cord machine guns, uh, BTR-82, BMP-2, and a T-72 that spawns in about six minutes, as well as a helicopter. For the Aussies, a bunch of other lightly armed, uh, lightly armored vehicles with the PMBs, their transports, lodges. Uh, they do have three, or sorry, two of the three machine gun uh, PMBs. So it's kind of like a big, big party bus clown car. Uh, then they also have uh, a, a remote weapon system. So uh, that's kind of to counter the BRDM scout car here. Uh, two Aslavs and Abrams, the M1A1 variant, the export variant, and then the MRH90, the big helicopter for the Aussies. Here we are. Let's go. It should be a good one. I have been seeing a lot of really fun games. Uh, and Narva has been especially fun. Uh, Mutaha. Uh, Fallujah has been nonsense. But anything where you get kind of a nice, uh, I think, the outskirts of a city. A little bit of uh, urban combat. Or I guess suburban areas. And then heavy urban has just been probably one of the, the best experiences in games so far. So uh, this should be a good one. And we already do have some comms coming out, so that is good. Uh, Toasty Tots and Command Squad. A 10 squad? Wait, 12 squads? I'm the 11th. Wow, okay. We got a lot of squads, a lot of people talking. Uh, hopefully it works out. Uh, main Lodgy for Command Squad. Looks like they're going to try to set up a fob at Police Station at Ammo Warehouse. And you have two Lodgies coming down Main Road for the the Aussies. Aslav. There's only one Aslav? Nope, two Aslavs. One in Main Road. And one way out west. So... It looks like the first combat is going to be at Emma Warehouse, and hopefully we should see not just a wipe. Hey, you know what? Actually, if we see a wipe, if we see a wipe, if you're going to blow people up, you blow people up. I don't care, <laughs> but I'm really interested to see the top down. I've been kind of peeking over the past couple days in admin cam, not really recording anything, just watching, and some of the fights have been absolutely insane, so we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, there it here we go, PMV coming down the left road, and he's about to walk in on an entire Russian squad dumping logistics. There it is. Infantry start firing back at the open top. You can see the open top gunner takes a round, but he's still alive, keeping that suppression. RPG misses. 
And there it goes. That one hits. Both hit, actually. And first, Russian goes down, but the PMV is on fire, and they're going to have to dismount. Try to save that. Let's turn on our outline so you can see exactly where everybody is. First, Dragon and Tevern finally go down. TLC, or TL Chance, and it looks like Oshu over on our uh, left. And hold on a second. LAV is opening up on the BMP. BMP takes a shot. I think he actually missed. He did. BMP is shooting at a car. ATGM smacks in the front of the car. It's just kind of a map asset. And you can see uh, Mean Metal and Zoid kind of miss it out there. Now BTR looks like he got shot by at, at least a lat or maybe a heat round. Rave Monkey goes down, but BTR did get tagged a little bit. LAV is going to be on the back side of... Oh, there you go. Another LAV. Oh, and the second Cornet misses. This BMP has missed two ATGMs so far. And LAV, way out in the distance, is on... Oh, feels like borrowed time. Shade and Gamer are going to walk right... Oh, and now he's going to smoke it out. If I'm the BMP, I'm going to be a little bummed out. Covering you, BTR. Keep retreating. But there you go. Good comms. Yeah, we have to retreat. BMP yeah, saying they're covering, uh, covering them. And hey, you know what? You might not get the kill, but at least you haven't got killed yourself. And now we actually have, on the far end, you have a BRDM, this scout car. Oh, hold on a second. Left side of your screen is that Aslav. Right side with the blue. There's just spilling out a clown car full of BRDM. Yeah, we do. They might have some AT troops in there as well. Main metal and the Aslav, they start to peak oh, that yeah, road. Right but you have a nice little dismount of infantry squad. Okay. I think you got AT. Oh, and it's not it's not the BRDM. I believe we're getting a repair station. The Tiger. Yeah, I'm getting one up right now. And the Tiger can still with that uh cord can do quite a lot of damage if they decide to open up on that Aslab, but it looks like they haven't yet. Infantry on the far end, you can see the outlines, the red outlines starting to slowly move up that western side of the intersection. That is a repair station now. Repair station going down for the Aslav. And interesting that the core decides to go for the Lodgy. Interesting decision here because the Aslav should turn around and insta-pop him here. NATO's step doesn't even... Oh, I don't think he's even going to be able to kill this Lodgy before the Aslav, you can see. Oh, Lodgy does go down. Aslav is... Well, trying to move around and figure out where that came from. And he's going to go down. Tiger tries to pop some defensive smoke. Might be able to just barely get it. And Aslav's going to be a bit distracted. You got RPG front. And it might be a little close. Driver sees him and he's, he <laughs> decides to just charge right through. Russian AT just gets absolutely blasted by the LAV and they got way too close. Really, I have no idea why they didn't open fire from across the river earlier, but one goes down and that was, uh, you just have now a medic left over, so he's not going to be able to do much. Um, but here we go. This is what we came for. Infantry on infantry. And you have Blitzer in the PMV. He's kind of flanking around. Looks like he lost his gunner, but he is in the Russian lines right now. Squad eight, can you stay Hello? <laughs> or is it Colonel Hacker and the BTR just mopping up Blitzer, and that should be an easy kill, but we can start to see the battle lines being drawn with the intersection. South side of the intersection is the Russian position. We have Dammit Dale, Gan uh, Ganja, the big Ganja, the bank. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, and... If you put a block in the way of ammo, you cannot enter with vehicles from the south door. We're going to take a look. We got Flicks and Chance up here. This is just a little nervy. You got the Aslav on that coast. And you also have a BTR just south of it on the Russian side of the road. Gil Chance now trying to peek up and takes a GL. Ace with a fantastic GL. And... We're gonna back all the way on to the. Oh, hold on a second. Aslav opens up and he's actually pushing the BTR. BTR is gonna go down because the RPG missed. Gan Gan Ganja off the bake shouldn't have been so big because he missed his shot. Zulu Echo Narval and. Okay. <laughs> they, 
Nice little ambush with the BTR, and they've also dismounted an entire squad. Combined arms at its finest, Aslav ambushes the BTR, drops an entire squad, and they have a flank on the backside of police station as the BMP does take out the second Aslav, but it doesn't matter because look at this infantry dismount. Format, yeah, Slip, Sexual a Chocolate, Bl Blake, Belladonna, Sniper, Foe, yeah, and Aaron. What a fantastic, and I think they dropped, yep, they did drop their rally. This uh, hourglass outline right here is that rally. So whenever they oh, die, the infantry can just spawn in and look at them sideways. just all start to uh, bloat in. Go up, go up, go up. And hold on, they're Probably talking. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Helicopter doing completely normal deployed. physics things. Ninja Hippo. Not a good situation, but doesn't matter. Sexual Chocolate, Blake Belladonna, Slip Nits. Nice. And this mob should be... Up. Yep, it is proxied because you have an entire squad just... Dude, hopefully they spread out. You don't want to be in the same type of building here. But as long as you have... Eight players within 80 meters of this fob, you can over in it. Uh, eight within 80, seven within 70, all the way down to two within 20. And here you go. Cassie was the lone one to go down. And this BMP needs to be very careful. Blake, Belladonna, and Slip do go down to that burst fire. And this is why you don't want everyone in the same distance or same area. But, oh, and unfortunately, this squad does not have any AT. So what was originally an... A very impressive uh, flank because there's no anti-tank. It, looks, it like looks like this one BMP should be able to knock him out. You also have Colonel Hacker, Specialist Buck, and Sean floating back as well. The loser alley is hiding in a bush. But BMP is sitting on that repair station and infantry is just going to be easily torn up here. Sean, Colonel Hacker go to clear out. Sniper throw dies. Up on the rooftop here, and oh, Colonel Hacker and Sean. Well, at least one goes down. A little bit of friendly fire here, and this smoke is actually going to make it a little bit easier for the Aussies. 303 tickets to 307 because we have a Aussie capture on Ammo Warehouse. Aussies were the first one uh, to push into ammo, and you can see they have that fob uh, that the the Aslav and the Tiger crew were fighting over earlier, and with this FOB overrun, Russians just unable to reinforce and push the position. Looks like they've killed just enough. Yep, FOB is overrun, so the last remaining Aussies. Oh, and there you go. A little burst fire. Oh, <laughs> this is actually really good. That's why you gotta, you gotta watch your spacing, and that should be the last one. Uh, you got wall cross as the final remaining oh hold on a second you also have sexual chocolate look he's going to burst fire and there you go specialist buck well a lot of team <laughs> a lot of team kills i'm actually curious what optic oh he does have just irons i was gonna say i was gonna say the way that he was able to uh full auto and actually take out the aussie i was i would have been surprised if he had eight cogs really good and accurate short range fire uh, for them here and let's take a quick look uh so fantastic push by squad six on the aussies unfortunately just had no anti-tank and the aslav honestly i, I mean it, it's it's easier to say you know um in hindsight but that aslav even though he, he did get shot by the btr if that aslav would have stayed put they probably oh speaking of the aslav and this is a little dangerous. Aslav is right up the road, and this BMP should be here on comms. This is an... Oh, and now you got an RPG in them, and so this is a very damaged and a little bit scared and out of position. Aslav, and the BMP just gets a little bit aggressive and goes for it. Aslav in front of you, squad three. Aslav... Well, BMP also decided not to do much. There you go. Toxic Taco and Ray deciding Copy, yeah, hear, just to sit. And hold on a second. We have... Tank decides to take a shot at a hovering hip. And that was just a maybe miscommunication 
comms. They've been just mentioning a tank was on uh, the north side of the point, and, well, you don't even hear anything on command chat talking about it. I'm surprised. You see a mark here. Uh, M1 Abrams, uh, Vincel, Zoid, and Mean. Very, very easy kill right here. And let's take a look to see if the T-72... Oh, there it is. T-72 actually trying to flank around. And... 281 tickets to 289. Well, a, a lot of just kind of stationary vehicles right now for the Russians, aside from the one flanking tank. Everyone else just trying to hold their position. As of right now, even though there's nothing on comms, you know that a tank is on at least ammo. Everything else is kind of up in the air. The Aussies seem to be in and out with their Aslabs, being very mobile with them. Uh, but BRDM, you can see... Tank, tell me when you engage. We're going to push with the BMP2. There you go. Shot Finally some comms. He's going to us. Squad three, man, uh, E72 right up the road. And PMV is coming as well right on the main road. He's taking shots at that BRDM. And unfortunately, the BRDM had dismounted a hat kit. Anti-tank not going to be able to join the fight. You see the T72. He's just laying in wait. He doesn't want to take a whoop. He doesn't want to take a shot at the PMV and expose his position because nobody knows that he's there right now. You also don't want to ambush that Abrams when he's on the actual repair station. You hear command comms saying he's pushing, he's pushing, let's go. BMP is going to try to engage from the south the moment the T-72 engage and oh, T-72 just barely missing maybe a little bit of a track opportunity. Abrams just mopping up this BRDM who is getting a little bit too close for comfort. Comfort BMP starting to engage on the south side as well and that should Aggro the Abrams a little bit. God, these are the most the patient. There you go, ATGM. ATGM engaging, and BMP just got blasted. Yeah, a little slow on the draw there. T72 tracks the Abrams. Abrams facing the armor front. The gun is facing the south side though. T72 goes to move, and a round goes right through the front plate. Abrams still has no idea, even though the front gunner, or I guess commander, does know. Tracks on the right side of the T-72. Another round comes into the Abrams, and that's going to get extremely low. I, ugh, I'm not sure if that Abrams shot did much. It hit, hit the turret, but here you go, and this should be about one more shot. A good shot for the Abrams, and he should be down. T-72 might pull off the ambush, and he does. Abrams goes down, and they do have to trade a BRDM and a BM2, a BMP2 for it, but well, at least you win one of them. Not the cleanest of fights, but there you go. Now you can mop up everything. T72 pops the repair station, and now you have an Abrams list Aussie side that has to deal with a lot of infantry on the south. And then the T-72 and... Eve, oh, you also have a Tiger here. So this is going to be a huge, huge problem for the Aussies. Heavy machine gun. Should be able to suppress inside. You see Wallcross just gave up in the I smoke there. Four max over in this little bunker trying to pick up Poyo. Thanks. Trying to keep our long range shit covered. This you see smoke's going out, and Mayudi, wow, Mayud actually somehow doesn't get killed by the HMG, but Ranger Tacos, if he just stays on it, should be able to lock down this entire ammo warehouse. And there's just way, way too many infantry stuck in this one building. And... A little bit on the southwest side, you now have... You can see it's a lot less uh, one or two players just charging into a position because they Enemy get killed. You can see one body just on the outside there. But players moving a little bit more in twos and threes. Colonel Hacker now trying to take advantage of the smoke and push. But he just sprinted across the road and hold on a second...
Airstrike takes out the hell. Oh, no, it doesn't. That was a miss. Aussie Commander misses on the airstrike. And now that's going to give uh, Russia the momentum since not only are you going to have the infantry push in with the tanks, but you're also going to have them a command asset up, especially right now if you have an airstrike or artillery and you put this right on position here. Uh, you, you might be able to turn the fight just a little bit, at least suppress them. You just have so many friendlies nearby too. MRH-90, Ru Yi. Trying to resupply. You see him hovering north side of the objective. And here we go. Looks like the... If anything's going to happen... Oh, no, there we go. Oh, close, close, close. Close, close, close. Mayute comes around and flanks. Close, knocks out Cassie. Hey. But Chance, what a great hey. shot. And he had a, a 1P72 okay. optic as well. Do a quick ADS and takes out Mayute with the flank. Toasty Tots tries to push up. And you can see... These onesie twosie players, I mean, they might get one kill, but you're not going to get on the uh, the kill streaks that you might have been prior to V6.0. And you can see uh, until they start pushing together, you might have a pretty good defensive area. Aslav now pushing. Oh, and hold on a second, they're pushing it. Alone and Raccoon. Trying to push that hab, and it's going to. Okay, do you want to command? Oh. You, want you have hat actually spun in. Halo. He is hat, but did he dig it down? All right, we'll fall back to school on the BTR. I th I want to say, Diddles actually dug the radio down to save it, and Halo. Oh, takes it. He actually gets killed by a friendly. Oh no, yeah, Zach. Oh no, Oshu, rather, knocks out the hat and would have been able to do some really good damage uh, to the Aslab because this attack has just completely stalled. They had all the momentum and instead of pushing together as, uh, as fire teams or squads, every single player on the Russian side has just been slowly pushing in by themselves or sprinting at an enemy and getting themselves killed. And with a really good perimeter here, I mean, Aussies, they don't even need to build anything. You just take advantage of the walls and the Hescos that you have as map assets, and you're good to go. In the meantime, School, we actually might get a flip here. School has been pushed, uh, has been pushed from the, looks like the northeast side. I think this is Squad 4. This is a Squad 4 uh, rally here for the Aussies. And it's right there, so the Aussie's starting to push in, and Toasty Tots is trying to lock down that radio and prevent the Aussies from pushing in and securing it. What is inside the ammo warehouse? We got C4 on us. We got C4, and Gator Fajitas decides to drop some C4. Did he really? Oh, it just missed, but. I don't think they realize it's not on them. They, they are going to try to slowly crawl away. Oh, they just kicked the engine up yeah, a little bit. You can see the engine sparking and the C4. Oh, just a little misplaced. If, you don't, if you're not perfect on that placement. Oh, hold on a second. Well, hold on. And now it's disappeared from the map. Maybe it is on there. I don't know. Are we about to experience some squad stranger things? Is C4 going to pop the BTR? <laughs> I have no idea. Place your bets now. I would put money on that it's on the ground over there. But BTR just trying to limp away. In about five seconds here, we should see if that C4 does its job. Well. Uh, okay. Um, Enemy heli's running recon. no C4, nothing on either side. <laughs> the All right. So the BTR somehow uh, doesn't explode. Uh, the ground also doesn't explode and everybody is fine. All good. <laughs> so uh, school is saved. <laughs> Hold on a second, actually. 
Uh, can you send the light track here a little bit? Uh, squad three looks like he's working on trying to get uh, a hab. Yeah, I'm trying to get attacked. Hey, Kyle's. This repair station is in the worst place ever. It's on the road that's got the most barricades on it. And, yep, A. Kyle's is trying to find this BTR. You can see he can't quite get to the repair station because he's stuck. Limping this BTR all the way there with no engine. He doesn't have an engine. three, maybe a have at E4. And so he has to slowly try to... Oh, I think he actually got it stuck, too. They're going to have to repair the engine in order to get the BTR over the sandbags onto the repair station. And this hat player, if he just turns around, he's got a perfect shot with the Carl Gustav. Oh, and he does a little bunny hop to try to see. And no, you need to just regular vault. You can't do the bunny hop. And this is a very interesting decision. And I... This is going to be close on the min arm, actually. BTR's engine is finally up. No, it's not. Not fully, at least. Oh, and he just took way too much time. Hat. Unbelievable. Kid head with a huge save right there. And just took way too much time, A. Kyles, trying to figure out what to do. And that's going to come out with one safe BTR as he limps away to the repair station. Okay. It is all going down now. On ammo, as you have mortars that should be there. You go. They're starting to impact. I would say the wrong side of the compound, though. And you need to have infantry in position to push as well. As you have squad three. Here you go. Toxic Taco. Oh, Aslav, moving to engage the hip. Aslav's got his sights on that hip, but it looks like he's going to dive just underneath the skyline as mortars now slamming into the position. Two Aslabs, you saw a second one. Zulu Echo just right inside this compound. Now, Ray and Toxic Taco, they might not have been spotted here. Ruyi may have been distracted with everything going on point that he didn't see this fob. And if this hab does get put up, as you see Ray is digging it up right now. If the mortars keep up, if you keep up the indirect fire and you actually have a proper... Uh, infantry push now, you can take this, but you need the combined arms because right now you just have it, no no one's working together. There there's always just something that's just being missed. You have the infantry, but you don't have the indirects. You have the armor, but you don't have the infantry. So Russia, I mean, they're up 224 tickets to 171, but they're in a very dangerous position, all because of this one rally with Squad Four putting. They're putting just enough pressure on this hab. You see almost pink, Pyro Shark, Filthy, uh, Zoom off to our right, and then Normandy off to our right. They're almost in a position where they can start overrunning this hab. And hold on a second. This Lodgy may find himself on the wrong end of a Carl Gustav as well. Lodgy's going to just stroll on in without being shot. But Zoom trying to push. A. Kyles, who missed the shot earlier with the AT. And then Gator Fajita is also coming in. Zoom takes out Colonel Hacker. And there he goes. Infantry starting to push the Hab. And they're really close. Offy, Toasty Tossin. Uh, Terska. But they need to take out this BTR too if the Aussies have any chance of doing this. Oh, please don't yeah. do this. Peter uh, Fajitas goes down the kid. Good shot. Finally, Akaos gets it off, but Arty, unfortunately, BTR is just going to back up and repair. Okay. And we're going to go back to the main effort because this is just onesie twosies. But it looks like I, I'm hoping I misheard command because command had somebody had requested artillery for defense. And honestly, with this fob up here, squad, uh, squad two, squad nine, squad three, I believe squad uh, three, Toxic Taco had set up earlier. You actually have a full infantry spawn here and push with this artillery. 
while keeping your mortars up, you have a chance. But you 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 no longer can just have one or two players just take out an objective anymore. They they're just not nearly effective. And we will see. Well, a fire team can do it. Eccentric boom boom and ace. If they move and cover each other properly, we might actually see them push this hab successfully. We got Ace on the high ground. It's Centric with a good grenade. Oh, it's actually going to land on the roof, unfortunately. It will cost Toxic, and it's only two inches to... Ooh, hold on a second. Oh, dead pixel goes down. Looks like maybe one of the Aussie hat players just knocked him out. But eccentric. This is actually really interesting. So you have one on the high ground with the GL as well. He's going to keep their heads down. And eccentric straight ahead in the orchard trying to actually push. And we'll see how effective that is. But now you have the T-72 coming in as well. And AT. Oh, boom, boom. What are you doing, boom, boom? Going to need AT. No AT on the left side, but you have Rave Monkey pushing on the right. 143 tickets for the Aussies, 211 for the Russians. So Russia still winning this, not because of the objectives, because we, we see Ammo Warehouse, which is the third out of five, is Aussies, but because they've been killing more of the Aussies. Creep is coming up, stay out of the and Creep. you can see Creepy Barrage is getting ready because you have a bunch of Russians now starting to spawn and they want to time it right. Spotter on their Abrams is 15 minutes, I think, right? They're going to have their Abrams in about 3 minutes. 72 lining up perfectly for a tracking shot. And he decides to tandem into the turret. That might have knocked out the turret. Nope, it's moving pretty decently, actually. Would have gone for the tracking shot and E72 is going to try to figure out who exactly shot at him. And at the very most, he might get a LAT shot to the side, but it looks like he will survive to at least watch the fireworks. Artillery about to go down. And you also have, oh, hold on a second. Not quite sure what they're doing here. There you go, right, artillery starting to land too. But a tiger looks like he's waiting on the western bridge now, trying to flank around. And this artillery should mop up all of these infantry. And there you go, boom, boom, filthy. Talker, wind, shiv, all go down. It's just missed this front line though. This actually, oh, hold on a second. Crazy horse and ace go down. Pollo's the only one left up. You got mid new Dutch on the right side. And look at that mortar, smoke mortars as well. Tank round knocks out Pojo, and you got a nice combined arms push. Artillery leading the way. Infantry now starting to charge out. Tank on the main road, and you need to be aggressive here. Take advantage of all of this suppression pushing into the, the compound and ammo warehouse. Wix seems like the only one up ahead. Colonel Hacker, Smoke Laura C. You need to start pushing now. Russia is just about this momentum. Let this momentum just slip away as they focus the side that wasn't cleared with artillery. Oh no. Colonel Hacker, I smoke Laura, Kidhead. It's only two inches. Wix, they're trying to do it, but I, I just don't think that's. This just wasn't quick enough. Just deciding to push the wrong side. And now you're going to have Paul, Mindu. These guys are going to actually start to cause a problem because only one or two infantry. Oh, Min and Paul. I'm calling it now. They're going to catch these guys out crossing the road if Paul just tries to be patient. Good smoke, though. Kidhead wicks and kills. Now starting to push in. Paul and Mindu up in the compound. Tiger now dropping smoke. We're not dropping smoke, actually smoking out himself. Mindu knocks out Halo and I smoke. Here it goes. This is what I'm talking about. The wrong side was pushed. Oh, Paul turns at the wrong moment. Colonel Hacker 
able to take advantage of that, but now only two infantry have just stopped a six, seven-man squad. Star now goes down, and there you go. Dead Pixel knocking out Colonel Hacker, and Lettuce is the only one left from this push. Squad 7, Scott, go back to repair. Dead Pixel goes to toss a grenade. Goes a little too low, and you can see that the Hab wasn't even proxy because he only had Kid Head, Wix, and now Malnourished. The only ones pushing up. You do have the T-72 that may cause a bit of problems for the Aussies. But 200 tickets to 102 for the Aussies. I mean, Russia is 100 tickets up. And look at this. Lettuce finally knocking out dead. And, well, there you go. Mindu. We called it a minute ago. Mindu and Paul taking out an entire squad. Pushing out because of the urban... Uh, I, I guess environment they chose to walk through instead of the open area that was cleared by artillery. If we have someone sit on that toe, and uh, now, uh, here's the problem. T-72. T-72. You can, oh my god, look at this. They're all up on this little watchtower in the smoke. Need to try to get an AT if you're an Aussie. But... The T-72 realizes yeah, there's not please. enough support here. A whole bunch of infantry, and they have to back out. And what was a great attack from the indirect fire stand board point, they just top. missed out on the coordination. And now you're going to get a massive, massive defensive turtle. It might not matter, though. The BMP's coming in, going to mop up a lot of tickets. It was only going to matter... Oh, here you go. I was going to say it was only going to matter if Aussies were able to keep this rally up and the pressure up on school. But you can see Squad 4, good push out, clearing the rally, clearing the enemy out of it. And now you just have the Aussies buttoned up inside, and it's probably just going to be a, a, a little ticket grind here. Is you have... Oh, hold on a second. I, I don't know. If you're if you're Aussie command, you're looking... Oh, and Minarm, Jay Smitty. And that's one thing, you know... With how aggressive vehicles are in this this update, one of the biggest things I would like to see is this min arm changed. I mean, vehicles can just suppress so easily, and then you know you, you don't get shot by AT because they're too close. If if they tweak that min arm range, I think we'd have a, a a little bit better vehicle balance. But hold on, LAV. I just heard an LAV fire. As an AT slams into the front of the BMP. Is there an LED inside? Am I blind? Where is this LAV? Oh, he's inside! What? <laughs> and this has just turned into absolute chaos for the Aussies. They have a repair station with an LAV inside, infantry holding, and mortars just pounding the roof, keeping them buttoned up, and the Aussies can do nothing but just try to grin and bear it. The BMP is now just trying to tear up anything they can see, and now it's up to... Oh, hold on a second. Oh, they tagged the repair station. I'm not sure if the BMP knows this LAV is right here. LAV might be able to get an eye on. And the LAVs going to have the jump if they decide to because the BMP right now is firing uh, high explosives, so it's not going to be doing any damage to armor. And BMP is still just doing it. And hold on a second. T-60 or T-72. T-72 moving up. AT getting off some shots. If they just tracked him, nobody on either side is going for tracking shots right now. 182 tickets to 79. Russia, unless something crazy happens, is just going to win on a ticket grind. Have is overrun. LAV is able to take a peek. BMP is, is surprised to find out that there's actually a vehicle in there. LAV. Little jack in the box almost. And now you have the Hab. I want to say the Hab is overrun. Not the, or not overrun, but the radio maybe. Oh no, it is overrun. 
have is overrun because you finally have the vehicles just shoved right in there and now you have a whole bunch of infantry pushing in and Aussies, despite their best effort, are going to get overrun. You're going to have to have a last man standing situation. The infantry try to clear in. Infantry trying to push in. Aussies got the high ground. Now it's full autos from both sides. Last couple Aussies last standing on the top. Full auto from the machine guns. BMP knocks out the Aslav, and that should be about it if the infantry don't fumble it here. You're going to have to do a last stand party or airstrike or something. Broken arrow if you want any chance because you have two Aussies left, and that's about it. No airstrike called, no arty called. It's the, the Alamo here for the Aussies. Is that a grenade to the top deck? It sounded like it. One goes down, one Aussie left. One more grenade kills his own friendlies. Aussie knocks him out. One Aussie left. Enemy heli is running recon. And you have four or five Russians. A couple more coming in. Ozzy goes for a bandage, and now you got someone climbing. There you go. That's thinking. And there it goes. Ozzy's a valiant effort, but they just could not take advantage of some of the mistakes the Russians made in slamming their vehicles into the objective. Ammo warehouse ended up being their coffin. And the only opportunity they have now is for a double neutral. I would be very surprised if they pull it off because you have a five chevron cap, which means as quick as you can decap. Yeah, that is what I mean. I need a track here. Can you bring a While you have the Aussies, they're still going to have to try to push in. And we're still taking heavy hits here. And I think that's squad seven. Squad seven, oh, does go down finally. Looks like Akhiles finally gets his BTR kill. Oh, and oh, and the hab is overrun. That's not going to be enough, though. You have nearly capped. I will say squad seven and whoever else was defending uh, this school fob, they did just enough to hold off. Literally as long as we could for everybody. Yep. There you go, overcoms. Command acknowledging that they did what they had to do because that gave them just enough time, uh, the Russians, to push into Emma Warehouse. And honestly, that should be the ball game. Uh, uh, ooh, what is going on here? Enemy tank that. Enemy tank that. <laughs> that Good should job. definitely Good seal it. Diet looks like they smash right in front of the Abrams, uh, going on some aggressive recon out there. And. With the radio, radio is on bleed for the Aussies. 21 tickets. That will be it. In about 45 seconds, you're going to have minus 20 tickets from the radio and Russia. Not the cleanest of victories, but managing to just get coordinated right when it mattered. Aussies just could not. That is one thing I have noticed. You, you you can be aggressive with this update, but unless you have uh, may, maybe some proper support, you, you saw the, the Aslavs, they weren't creating space for the Aussie. The Aslav being stuck in this warehouse did really nothing. If the Aslav was patrolling out, if they were up there earlier, we had, what is that, Mindo and Paul. If that Aslav was mobile, would have been able to create space so the infantry inside ammo would be able to come out to the perimeter. Instead, they invited pressure, and one thing suppression does well is keep you under pressure if you're pressured. 208 tickets to zero. Russia with the first victory of V6.0 and the infantry combat overhaul. 216 kills, 125 just completely out fragged. 62 revives to 57. G, G's.